Hi everyone, it's Lori from LoriStory.com. I just have a real quick video here. I wanted to show you some of the new features that are coming up in the most recent release of Design Space. The first thing you're going to notice is we have a new button over here, Insert Shapes. If you click on the Insert Shapes, you now have quick access right on the design screen to your score line and the basic shapes, heart, star, diamond, octagon, hex hexagon, pentagon, square, triangle, and circle. So this is really handy. Um, you need a circle, instead of having to go back and insert shapes, or you need a square, they're right here. Another feature that we have that's new is if we have multiple things on our design area and we want to line those up. In the past, we had to go over to the edit panel and check out the X and Y axis and change those. They've made it easy for us now. We have this align button. So with multiple shapes selected, we can hit align and we can align top. And that those two objects are now perfectly aligned on the top. We can also align bottom. We can center horizontally and let me put that on the back so you can see where that's at. Arrange, move to back. So now those are centered. We can also align center horizontally, center vertically. And now that's perfectly in the center of that square. So if we wanted to select both over the layers panel and slice, we've now cut a circle that is perfectly aligned in the center of that image. So that's going to be really helpful. Select both objects. We can also align left. The left edges of these images are perfectly aligned. We can align right. And we can just tell it to center these two objects. One other new feature we have, and I think you're going to like this one, is in the past when you had something really small, these handles got in the way. And now when you size something small, these also resize and they're kind of put away from the edge of the object so that you can still get in there and line things up. So that if you had, let's say, two circles and you were trying to overlap them, you can now do that without the handles being in the way. So that's a great new feature. Another thing that you can do in Design Space now with the new features, let's add one more of these. And say we wanted to space three items out and we wanted them to be spaced perfectly between each other. We wanted you know the space between each of these dots to be perfectly symmetrical. So the first thing we're going to do is select all three. We're going to go to Align. And the first thing I'm going to do is align them up to the bottom. So now they're perfectly aligned, but you can see this one's a little bit further than that one. So we can go to align and distribute horizontally. And now it evenly spaced all three of those dots. By the same token, we can do it this way. So there you see they're kind of out of whack. Let's select them all, align, and we'll just align to the left so that they're perfectly lined up. And then we will distribute vertically. And now you can see Design Space has evenly spaced those out for us. And the other feature that is uh, available in Design Space is they have added the support of the Cricut Explore 1. That's the new machine coming out in May. It is a lower price machine. It's going to retail, I believe, $249. And uh, there will be usually sales probably for $199. It is, has the same cutting features as the Explore Air. However, there is only one carrier for the blade. There is not a separate holder for the pen. The Explore 1 will have an adapter that you take the blade out and you can put the scoring tool or the pen into the blade carrier. So if we were to hit go on this mat and everything looks the way we want it, we hit go. And you will see here we have the Explore 1. 
The Explore One is a USB connected machine. However, you can use a Bluetooth adapter to make it wireless, but it does not come with that. That is a separate purchase as well as the accessory adapter is a uh, separate purchase. Okay, and here are some new features on the iPad app. If we go into, let's just insert an image. And I'm just going to add a circle. Just so that I have a basic image. Go into the layers panel and duplicate that. Okay, so now when you are on the iPad app and you send this to the mat, it will space these out. And if you decide to move your objects on your mat and you accidentally get these a little bit too close like they are right now, you see those yellow lines? Those are warning lines that are telling you that your objects are either too close together or they're overlapping. It will still cut them just like they are, but it's going to cut right there in the center. It's going to cut both circles out so it's not going to cut the way you want. So that's just a new feature in there. It's a warning feature. When they're properly spaced you do not have those yellow lines. When they're too close or overlapping it's just a warning to let you know hey those are a little bit close. Do you really want it to cut that way? So I hope this helps show you some of the new features coming out in the new design space and tell you a little bit about the new Explore One. We will have videos coming out soon on the Explore One. Thanks so much for watching. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.